World War. Commonwealth soldiers who gave their lives for this country. Among them, thousands of West Indians who left their homes in the Caribbean to fight in the trenches. Well, many were trained in vast camps at Seaford in Sussex, and some died there too, as Malcolm Shaw now reports. <laughs> At Seaford Cemetery today, a special service of remembrance for those who gave their lives in the Great War. Almost 300 soldiers are buried here, mostly Canadian, but also Irish and West Indian. The troops were stationed in two massive training camps in the town, preparing them to fight in the trenches, but some died here in Sussex. Unfortunately, in, while well, there was in Seaford, a lot of them went down with illness, coal-related illness, flus, various illness like that related. And 19 of them died and are buried here in Seaford Cemetery. In 1915, more than 1,500 men came to Sussex from islands like Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados and St Lucia. They were among 16,000 West Indians who served in the First World War. A call went out from the motherland of the threats being made to world peace by the Germans. And we answer the call. And these men and women gave their lives, the ultimate sacrifice for us, so that we can be here tomorrow and live the life and the luxury we are today doing. Many of those who gathered for today's service travelled from London, taking time to visit the graves and pay tribute to the 19 black soldiers laid to rest here. We should remember, particularly when there are other conflicts, that we see damage and take away so many young people's lives. We should remember these that lay here in this cemetery. It's indeed a privilege for us to be here today. The chairman of the West Indian Ex Services Association planted a eucalyptus tree in the cemetery representing the islands of the Caribbean a lasting memorial for those who came to fight for the mother country and gave their lives so far from home. Malcolm Shaw in Seaford for Meridian Tonight. While staying with World War I and we return to